hopefully, hopefully, uh, what you're compiling is uh, going to be a uh, positive uh, reflection of what Pepsi's all about and the makers of their advertising. So I think it's fair to say that if that's all the case, uh, yeah, this is part of the uh, marketing spin of Pepsi-Cola. for a moment and reflect on this very thoughtfully. You can actually cause the consumer to forget something he has previously learned by putting into his head a newer and stronger concept. My penis? My buttocks? You can actually remove an advertising story from his memory. And in its place, you can substitute one of your own. Hey, man, how can I become a distributor of this stuff? You're coming in, baby. I said, you guys are going to make a fortune with this product. I want to get involved. As we seize a larger and larger share of the consumer's brain box. It's the smile you can hide in the back of your mind. But it's easy to see and no surprise to me. The choice of a negative generation. Seven up has got me down when high C gets me low. My Lubbock's blue ain't blue, it's brown. My Nestle's quick just makes me slow. When my sparkling cider's lost its shine, my can of sharps is dull. Hawaiian punch has knocked me cold. A feeling hits my skull And my mind just turns to Pepsi And I couldn't tell you why Smart drinks lead me to forget And Coke won't get me high When constant comment won't shut up I'll sit right down Diet right to me is wrong. My country times expire. My minute maids an hour long. My Maxwell house won't get me wired. When my pet milk turns on me and my five alive is dead. When my royal crown's been overthrown. An impulse hits my head And my mind just turns to Pepsi And I think of it a lot My Swiss miss just wasn't pure And Kool-Aid isn't hot When a wall of smoothies rough me up I'll turn to a bigger cup Samuel Adams makes me ail. Dr. Pepper's not around. When sweet success has let me fail, I crave a flavor most profound. And my mind just turns to Pepsi when I look, I see, I buy my crystal. Everybody, 
drink it up. Cut. How great was that? Is he worth the money? <laughs> okay, here we go, folks. Start the win. And the smoke. And playback. I need a Pepsi. I need a Pepsi. I need a Pepsi. Cut. It's great. Let's look at these. Why is this commercial? Why is this commercial? Why is this commercial? Why, why is this commercial going to sell Pepsi? Hi, I'm me, and I'm using this to sell you this. Pepsi. Pepsi. Hi, I'm me, and I'm using this to sell you this. Pepsi. 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 Hi, I'm me, and I'm using this to sell you this. I feel good about Pepsi. I feel good about Pepsi. Hi, I'm me, and I'm using this to sell you this. I need Pepsi. Pepsi. I need Pepsi. It's that last... Uh, one foot, I call it, in the supermarket, where that, that one foot between your hand reaching this direction or that direction it is an emotional one. Why is this commercial? And that's the bonding you want to get. Why is this commercial? Uh, one foot, I call it. Why is this commercial? That, that one foot, one foot, one foot. Why is this commercial? One foot. Cut. You're picking people to represent traditionally perceived roles for black people. Aunt Jemima, Uncle Ben, the servants, the traditional role here, the black athletes use the role that people are comfortable with seeing blacks in to help sell a product. But don't use blacks in roles that are expanding the parameters, um, that are putting blacks in new and in different settings. Hi, I'm Herschel Walker. I'm not just running through a line when I say, hi, I'm Herschel Walker. I need a Pepsi. Pepsi. Feel good about Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi. Feel good about Pepsi. Testimonials by celebrities. And that's why Michael, whose face you like, or we know that a large number of people are crazy about him, as soon as you see him, say, oh, I wonder what this is going to be about. You're a whole new generation. Five million dollars to star in two 90-second ads. Pepsi. Are you sure you want to use a celebrity? So I'd 
deserve your pity when my wife divorces me. This is Ricardo Montalban. Corporations often spend millions of dollars to secure celebrity endorsements, but commercial campaigns can be wiped out overnight if a celebrity says the wrong thing or their image changes. To just put a celebrity up there. To just put a celebrity up there. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. Hi, this is Marion Ross. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. See if you can identify this sound. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. That's the sound of me being hit by a tennis ball. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. To just put a celebrity up there. To just put a celebrity up there and have him hawk your product will work. Putting him there in a way that is engaging, is charming, has a bit of a story going for it. We have found it's really... Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. A most successful formula. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. A most successful formula. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. The Madonna Media Blitz for Pepsi will begin in March when the new commercials are scheduled to premiere in the U.S., Japan, Australia, and the Soviet Union. In this footnote from an earlier soft drink campaign, it was exactly five years ago today that Michael Jackson's hair caught on fire while filming a Pepsi commercial in Los Angeles. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. It didn't seem strange to me. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. It didn't seem strange to me. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. It didn't. It didn't seem like. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. Like out now. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. I'm Montalban. I'm using this to sell you this. Underwear. Sell you this. Sell you this. Hello, this is William Christopher from Mash and Aftermath. Sell you this. But I've got to admit, there's a string attached. A string called Dental Floss. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. Now listen to this. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. Hello, I'm Chuck Connors for the Giraffe Project. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. Thank you. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. People were coming up to me saying, I love Family Ties, I love Back to the Future, and I love that Pepsi commercial. Yeah. I love it, and kids loved it, and they started to treat it like a movie. Start. And playback start. Oh. This is Ricardo Montalban. Viewers guess that the celebrity has been bought. Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. And they are right. Here comes 
a famous Hollywood superstar. Hi, Miss Dina Star. Hi. Hello, hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. Hello, I'm Alan Thicke. Hi, this is Barbara Eden. Hello, this is James Coco. It's perfectly normal and usually nothing to worry about. But if it's done hello, too hello, often... This, hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. Thank you. Viewers have a way of remembering the celebrity while forgetting the product. A most successful formula. I did not know this when I paid Eleanor Roosevelt $35,000 to make a commercial for margarine. Thank you. She reported that her mail was equally divided. Thank you. One half was sad because I had damaged my reputation. The other half was happy because I had damaged my reputation. Ready, roll. Ready, roll. Not one of my proudest memories. Hello, 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 this is Ricardo Montalban. Hello, 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 hello,
When you have product A against product B. When you have product A against product B. When you have product A against product B. Sometimes uh, clients want you to have a 50% more uh, choice of theirs. So. Without Which one do you prefer? Well, can you do it without asking questions? See, the problem with the question is that you're forcing people to answer yes, no, and so forth, and maybe they don't have an opinion. If you can possibly figure out what's in people's minds without specifically asking them. Is it the, is it the, is it the most refreshing, the most satisfying, the best taste ever in the history of ever? Well, what we try to do is, is get a me mental snapshot of the mind of a prospect. The trouble with focus groups and questions, you're starting to probe too deep. The average person doesn't think a lot about these products. Sure. That's not an accurate representation no, of their minds. No, 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 no. Nope. Talk about a classic conversation. Coca-Cola. Please, Coca-Cola. I'm really ill. When I pick up this shield, you tell me what you pick. Pepsi. <laughs> it's a Pepsi. It's a Pepsi. 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 When you have product A against product B, Pepsi. And they keep choosing the wrong product. Pepsi. Either something is going on wrong with the product that we're trying to sell, or... Or a different taste. You have to taste. You have to taste. You have to taste inside. You have to taste the taste that's been a lot better. Join the Pepsi and If you can, beat it. Catch it. Pepsi. 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 You have to taste. Yes, oh, oh. More than half the Pepsi drinkers tested in the Corpus Christi area preferred Pepsi. It's true. Now what's the drink that wins the test that Pepsi drinkers think is best? Tell them the truth, they make no money. It's Pepsi. These are better tasting than that than Coke. Yeah. New That's the new That's the new That's the new taste of Pepsi. That's the way. That's the way. If you want a quick shallow tap into that mind, if you want a quick shallow tap into that mind, Take the Coca-Cola challenge. So what I want to know is, if you're drinking Pepsi, who's drinking Coke? I'd like to buy the world a home and furnish it with love. Coca-Cola. This is Dex Andrew. Well, thank you. <laughs> People think I'm Bill Cosby, but you never could have but, convinced me no other way. But, uh, I'm really tooth decay. I'm thinking one reason why possibly Coca-Cola decided to uh, change the formula is humanitarian effort, because the what? Oh, because the. Mexican police will, will no longer be able to use Coca-Cola to interrogate their prisoners. One, one technique to um, get prisoners to start saying things is to shake up a Coca-Cola and put it up the prisoner's nose. Mm. So I was just thinking that possibly with lower carbonation, this won't work as well. Mm. You're the Pepsi generation. Yeah.
Pepsi. Open it. Pepsi, I need a Pepsi right away. Open it. Pepsi, Pepsi today. I don't know what else to say, but I need a Pepsi, need a Pepsi, need a Pepsi today. I need a Pepsi, I need a Pepsi, I need a Pepsi right away. What did I tell you? Play basketball. Pepsi. I don't need Coca-Cola at all. Show my brand loyalty to feel good about me. You don't know what else to say. Open it. Pepsi, 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 Pepsi today. It's pretty good. Yeah. I need Pepsi sometimes, and I don't know why. There's a voice inside my head that makes me go out and buy. I buy a Pepsi, buy a Pepsi, buy a Pepsi after drinking some beer. Buy a Pepsi, buy a Pepsi, buy a Pepsi after beating up queer. Pepsi, Pepsi after beating up queer. Pepsi, buy Pepsi after drinking some beer. Pepsi, I need Pepsi right away. We might as well come right out with it. I need a Pepsi sometime. All flavors have that happy face. And I don't know why. Except Dusparilla. We haven't quite hit that happy, carefree note in Dusparilla. There's a voice inside my head. Now please don't I misunderstand need it. need a Pepsi. Our Dusparilla is absolutely dependable. I need a Pepsi today. It's trustworthy. It's loyal. Right away. And many fine, upstanding citizens love it. Pepsi. A really good mix of Pepsi. But it just isn't what we call happy. Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi. really good mix. Pepsi. 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 Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi today. You take our orange, it's absolutely rollicking. Fountain Pepsi. Our lemon is almost giggling. Maybe a 12 ounce Pepsi. Our black cherry and black raspberry are so bubbling with happiness, they dance in the glass. Maybe 16 ounce Pepsi. We're sorry about sarsaparilla. Pepsi, Pepsi. Pepsi. Why isn't it happy? Pep, open it. Pep, open it. Pep, open it, I tell you, see. Well, let me ask you. I don't like Coke or RC. I only like Pepsi. Or Mountain Dew, better. With the cool, smooth Mountain Dew. Pepsi, which makes Mountain Dew. Pepsi, which makes Mountain Dew. Alive and 
inspiring. Contemporary is a good word here. Like the 501 jean ads. Like the Levi Cord Knight ads. Like the Honda Scooter ads. in the examples I've just described. Will a man living in Los Angeles understand what a seagull is? Do we know about the ants there in the grass? These Pepsi ads Will the ants in the grass understand what the man's Volvo is? These Pepsi ads These Pepsi ads should not look too urban, too ethnic, too I know this may sound confusing, but I think it's better to know now than to argue on the set about it later. Good luck. Not very long ago, America introduced Pepsi to the Soviet Union. You can have it, you can have it right now. And while it may be just a coincidence, a lot of refreshing changes have taken place ever since. Pepsi, a generation ahead. What can they really get inside my head? As long as you keep an open mind. Here they all are. Here they all are. Here they all are. Here they all are. We want soaps and cigarettes. We want Kleenex and Kotex. We want cake mixes and candy. We want unkissed and dough. We want cereals and soft drinks. We want Tony and Clairol. We want we want rose and pies and shape. We want contact and dial. We want laxatives and beer. We want Kool-Aid and clear toothpastes and margarines and fruit juices. We want Walmart cards. Here they all are. We want the lotions, the pet foods, the shampoos and hair dyes. Here they all are. We want puddings, margarines. All of which are preferred over all others. We do have the possibility of stopping this, and as I said the word stopping, I realize that's it. You know, if there's any message in my book, it's... Yeah, please do. Okay. We're fat. We're overfed. Stop, stop building cars, stop buying cars, uh, eliminate Woolworths. We don't need a daily newspaper seven or eight times. Every day. We want headache remedies in their tins. We don't need a daily newspaper seven or eight times every day. Laxatives in their bottles. Seven or eight times every day. Seven or eight times every day. We can control the corporation. All we have to do is stop buying what it is they're selling. Cheap creams, toothpastes, and cigarettes. Cereals too. Uh, it's, re it's very simple. I mean, actually, they need us. We want and there's this whole campaign going on that somehow they're fulfilling the need of ours. And they're not. He is a beleaguered consumer, a confused consumer. We want battered by television. We want beautiful tea sailed by print. We want good clothes salted by radio. We want, we want people to like us. They're, they're just ripping off everybody. So you're. So what would happen? This is my goal. What would happen if, like, 
50% of the people in this country. We do not want to. If they just said, what? no, we're what? not going to buy you cars. We don't need you cars. We don't, we don't need to go to Woolworths. We don't need your newspapers, your cigarettes, your coffee, you know, your Coca-Cola. Your, your... We just ain't going to do it no more. We do not want to smell bad. We just ain't going to do it no more. We do not want to be ugly. We just ain't going to do it no more. We want money. And if all the, the real spiritual religious leaders in this country said that's really what we got to do, right? So you're philosophical? Fight back. Fight back. The only thing that's going to solve the problem is to actually stop what it is that's causing We can control the corporations. All we have to do is stop buying what it means they're selling. The only thing that's going to solve the problem is to actually stop what it is that's causing it. Fight right now. Fight back. Right now. $30 right million now. a day right now. spent in a desperate right attempt to buy brands a bit of space in the memory box for the consumer. So you're philosophical? This is the restless American economy. So it is also economic liberty, and once economic liberty is abridged or destroyed, all other liberty is abridged or destroyed. Power over a man's subsistence, said Alexander Hamilton, is power over his will. Fight back! And it's like a, an intellectual game to continually ask what the solution is when, when you're not willing to, to put it into effect. I mean, you're, you're really not... It's scary. It's very frightening. That's what my dad would call real truth in advertising. We have never seen such a thing happen. Instead, the campaign continues to flourish like a great tree spreading its branches and reaching for the sun. And year after year, rich and fruitful seeds continue to sift down to the earth in new sales and customers. Don't fuck with me, fellas! So you're philosophical? Well, like we say, if you can't lick them... Uh, Join them. Uh, put them on with a big piece of tape is what we say. Oh. Okay. You got that rhyme. It's okay. That's nice. I think that's fine. Yeah.